what's up youtube yoke gang welcome back to the channel so there's something that i'm asked quite often and that is yo what is your top five must have and today i'm going to show you my top five must have rifles i mean in the collection it's a must you can't <laughs> it got to be there so you ask and i will produce so here we go so up first oh first things first we are in a safe and controlled environment we are at the gun range if you can't tell so back to it first up we have that zastava m70 now it is clear as you can see right here you can see the follower in the magazine i'll drop that magazine just for you to see it is clear or it is empty and the ak is clear now y'all know I'm that AK girl, so I had to have this in my top five. This is a Zastava M70, and it's tacked out with the, a the Vortex AMG UH1 and has that folding stock, nice grip, and we have, what is this, the Streamlight, the Streamlight flashlight on here. Quite tactical and super fun to shoot. In my opinion, you have to have an AK in your top five rifle. All right, so let's put that there, see if it'll stay. All right, so up next, we have our another must have. I had to get the bag for this one. We have our Ruger Precision bolt action she is also clear she's furnished with the vortex this is the vortex viper if i'm not mistaken yes it is the vortex viper now if you want to do i mean anything hunting precision shooting or just simply having fun this one is chambered in um 300 wind mag so it can get you i was gonna say something it can get you a very very decent distance and so far i am totally enjoying this ruger precision and not only is it going to get you distant but the trigger is a an adjustable trigger to your liking so you can adjust it from two and a half pounds all the way to five pounds whatever it is that you like and i really appreciate that from ruger and um great job but so far it shoots just right haven't done anything to it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ruger Precision. All right, let's make some space here. All right, I hope you can still see. Okay, so up next is also a very fun shoot. And we have our SCAR 20S chambered in 308. Mm, that round is absolutely amazing. As well, let's do a quick clear check. Magazine is empty and the rifle is clear. Very nice. This is something else that will definitely reach out there and touch something. Um, excellent for precision shooting as well hunting, whatever it is that you are choosing to do with it. Here we have the Vortex Viper on here. Yeah, this one is the Vortex Viper. Uh, it goes all the way to 20 magnification. So that is great. Handling on the, how could I say, um, on the ground, not on the ground, but actually on foot, I should say, um, because it does have so much weight to it in my opinion is not the most comfortable um rifle to move around with neither would be the ruger precision but if you are sniping or shooting um stationary it would be a great fantastic addition so in my opinion the fn scar 20s 308 is a must-have now you can get them in a quite a bit of different um uh, rounds as well as the Ruger Precision, but that would be your discretion and your liking 
and what it is that um, you choose. So we've covered three and we have two more. So up next is another one that they ask the, and I think on this one, I get a lot of, what do you need that for? What do you, it's more of why not? If it's available, why not? If you are really a gun enthusiast, why not? Why not? Whoa. Give me a reason why not. Since you want to ask me, um, what do I need it for? Tell me why I shouldn't have it or why I don't need it. So with that being said, up next. <laughs> we have that FN 249. Okay, I don't have the belt with me. It definitely would have gave it a lot more character. Let's check it and make sure it's clear. There's nothing in the chamber and she is clear. No magazine present. Now, this is a world of fun. It's chambered in 556. You can use the magazine fed. You would insert your magazine right here or you can um choose to shoot it with a belt you would load your belt here so again why not look at my hair <laughs> why not it's accurate um if you have not seen that video with me shooting this at 100 yards with iron sights make sure that you check that out it's a great shoot unfortunately like i said on foot handling uh for me it's not the most comfortable but definitely prone shooting it's an absolute pleasure to shoot the fn 249 chambered in 556 nato let me see if i push this up here if we can keep everything in visual for y'all now how do you feel in your opinion about calibers and when I say calibers, what is the your opinion in what would be an overkill caliber and why? Um, this is something else that they ask me. Oh, civilian, it's not needed, whatever. But why not? Why not? If we are shooting and we want to see the potential of what it is that we're using, um, and if you have a, a, a range that goes out to a mile, 500 yards, whatever, even two mile ranges are available. That is something you're going to need something to get that distance. So um, why not have I'm not going to call it the best option, but many options because I can get, you know, up to a mile with anything. Well, I don't know if I can get a mile with my AK, but I am I am sure that the 249 can get me, you know, with a decent scope can get me, a, if not a mile, half a mile. Um, the SCAR for sure, 308 is an incredibly fast, accurate round. And the 300 Win Mag is another round that, you know, if you're not shooting longer than a mile, in my opinion, you, you're not gonna really get that full potential from your your rifle and i understand pers uh, long distance shooting and, and all that good stuff isn't for everyone but it's a part of the sport so if you are going to be in it i'm not saying oh because you don't shoot um per precision or long distance you're not really a gun enthusiast that's not what i'm saying i'm just saying it's a part of it now it's for you or is it, it isn't for you and in my opinion it's an addition to what it is that makes the sport so enjoyable for me. So with that being said, we have Big Mama. So Big Mama is a Barrett. This is the M82 chambered in 50 BMG. She's equipped with her night force. Now this night force can definitely get me. <laughs> Not only can it get me distance, it can cause major fun. We're going to use fun. Major fun. And we have done quite a bit of shooting with it and it has not let me down yet. 
I absolutely love this. This is has to be my prized possession in my collection. Look, it still has grass on it from our last rendezvous that we had. And let me do a quick clear check. There is no magazine and she's safe. So that's why I can't pull that back. All right. And there's nothing chambered. My 50 BMG. I absolutely love. Now I'm not into all the the Sarah coats and, and and all that stuff, but I feel like I can really put some add some character to this if we do, you know, spruce her up a little bit. But as is, either way, it shoots absolutely great. I love my 50. Um. Yes. Do you have a 50? Would you consider a 50? Do you want a 50? Those are the questions um, you gotta ask yourself when you're getting into something like this. And this is something that I wanted for a long, long time. I just didn't have the chance to get my hands on one and I did, so I grabbed it immediately, immediately. And it is a delight. I absolutely love it. I don't know. If the way that they're set up now, if you can, my camera died, I forgot what I was saying, <laughs> but yes. Um, and another thing you have to really keep into consideration too is the cost to shoot it. Um, it is very, very costly to shoot this. The rounds are going about $5 each um, at the moment. So it would be a very expensive range day for you. But either way it goes, hey, if you love it, you love it. Just like I do, I love it. and. Uh, a dollar is not going to stop me from doing what it is that I love. And with that being said, I hope you can, um, no, you can't. So let me rearrange everything and then we're going to do a quick back run through as to what it is and why. Okay. Now, um, now that they're rearranged, I hope you can appreciate it a little bit more. So we're going to go through it one by one again. Uh, first off, we had our Zasava M70. We're not shooting. It is still clear. Everything is still clear. And it is quite tacked out. Um, AMG UH-1. This is the, uh, the Vortex. And y'all know I love me a nice AK. And this is a nice AK. Ow! <laughs> that was still gay. All right, and up next, um, this is in no particular order. I brought them out um, in a different order, but that's just the way that they're set up now. We have our FN249. Absolute fun, like I said. Um, I think I said before we cut, um, tell, you, uh, tell you what I have and why. I have no reason why. I have it because I want it. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't um, uh, have, I, I really don't have a reason why. I'm just, I, I like, um, I'm an enthusiast. I like guns. I like different calibers of guns. I like different styles of guns. I'm not just a pistol shooter. I love rifles. And these are my top five that I feel it's a collection must have. And after the 249, we have the FN. This is the SCAR 20S. Very, very nice in that FDE. And if we move along here, we have that Ruger Precision. Oh, the FN is chambered in 308. And the Ruger Precision is chambered in 300 win. Great rounds. And of course, we got Big Mama here. Oh, this is Baby D. If I didn't tell you what I named her, we um, that's Baby D. And this is Big Mama. This is my 50 BMG Barrett M82. Hmm. So that's another thing that I feel like we should all have in our arsenals is a variety of calibers because uh 556 five, gets boring 223 556 five, five, is pretty much the same thing um but i'm sorry 223 556 two, five, five, is pretty much the same thing so you got to get you know bump it up a, a little bit you have your 308s which is a lot more fun then you have your 300 wind mags and you have your 50s and you have i mean it's just so many different calibers black 300 blackout it's just so many different calibers to choose from and i feel like they all share a um their own experience while shooting them so um yes it is important to go out and explore and of course build what it is that you like and and why you like it so in this episode i brought out my top five 
must-have rifles. I hope you guys enjoyed. One more time, the M77 Zastava, the FN249, the FN Scar 20S, the Ruger Precision, ouch, Ruger Precision, and of course, that 50 BMG. Yo, gang, thank y'all so much for joining me. I'm gonna gash y'all up a little bit. Merch coming soon, so make sure you have that notification on and you have that bell and you're subscribed and all that good stuff so that you're notified when that release is dropped. And we didn't shoot anything, but y'all know I love it when things work. And all of these work, and I love y'all too. Peace.